Welcome to Fire Breathing Kittens, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons podcast. Today is a special episode, as today I'm here to interview Elowen Ember. Hi, Elowen. Hello. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? I would be bright red, like a campfire, because that's where I like to be. Ooh. Uh, what are your strengths? I'm really great at shooting things with my bow and hunting in the woods and finding the best berries by the stream. Ah. And on the flip side of that coin, what are your weaknesses? I sometimes get really angry and blow up. You know, smoke Janasi things. We are a little hot-tempered. <laughs> that makes sense. I'll try to stay on your good side. <laughs> Probably the best thing. Where did you grow up? I don't know. I was abandoned in the woods when I was 12, and so I just kind of ran around there and found people to take care of me and hung out with the animals. Aww, you poor thing. Um, why did you want to join the Fire Breathing Kittens Guild? Well, I'm really great at taking care of the woods and the animals, but I'm not the best, and to be the best, you have to do a lot of work and to train with the best, and they are the best, so why not join them? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, we'll go on many adventures together and I'll get stronger together. All right, so here's a, a question. So the interviewer takes the pad of paper, celebrity style, looks down at her list and says, If you were given a one-minute ad slot during the annual Nick and Moy fighting tournament, which is kind of like the Super Bowl, what would you fill it with? I would fill it with epic shots of me shooting berries and small items off of trees and with some awesome music from a bard friend that I'd have to find. Ah, I have just the friend for you. <laughs> Mendax Yarn Spinner loves to play along, and with you shooting trick shots, you guys would be quite popular. He sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, um, question seven. What do you like doing in your spare time? I like to go out and care for any animals that might have been injured in the woods, and I love to hang around campfires and hear all the cool stories. Ooh. Stories like mystery stories? What things in life are still a mystery to you? Well, where I came from, obviously, because, you know, I was abandoned when I was 12 and don't really remember much, but also... Why do I exist? Because, like, I'm a weird genasi, and, like, normally they're, like, fire genasi and water genasi, but I'm smoke, which is, like, a weird mix between air and fire. So it'd be really cool to figure that out, but it'd also be really, really cool to figure out some grand mystery that the world has, but I don't know that it's a mystery yet, but to discover it was a mystery and then solve it. That does sound awesome, and a great adventure. <laughs> I look forward to it. I do, too. All right. Um, okay. Let's, let's be real. What is your annoying habit? I sometimes get really, really uncomfortably close to people physically. <laughs> sometimes I forget that people are like physical or like other creatures are actually physical and not like made of smoke. So I sometimes get really close and like pass through them like a ghost. And I've been told it's really creepy. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yes, yes, it would be. Oh, and you just kind of, like, float right through. Oh, man. Sometimes on Halloween, I like to go, boo! <laughs> Cute. <laughs> um, do you speak any other languages? I do. I speak primordial, because, you know, the whole elemental background. I just kind of know it, but I don't really know how. Huh. It comes naturally. Yeah. Um... Where would you like to visit? I'd love to see a big city. Any city, really, because, you know, living in the woods, we don't get a lot of permanent structures. So it'd be really cool to explore just a ginormous city. Ooh, we'll take you to Port City Jishope, the largest city around. All right. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah. Okay, question 12. There's only a few left. Getting into the silly ones. Do you like pickles? I've never considered if I've liked pickles. I mean, I'd eat them, but I don't know if I'd really like them. Yeah, I think I like pickles, because I don't think I'd eat them if I didn't like them, and I do eat them when I can. 
Oh, do air genasis eat like or smoke genasis? Do you like how does that work? <laughs> you know, it's probably one of the world's greatest mysteries is how I can eat because I can. I can be solid and I can eat, but Ooh. then I can also go poof like a ball of smoke and it's still there. Like a, I don't just like poof into smoke and pickles fall out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm glad. I'm glad that's not what happens. <laughs> oh man. Um, all right, uh, question 13. A penguin walks through that door right now wearing a sombrero. What does it say and why is it here? My name is Penguin Penguin Pants <laughs> and I need you to rescue my family. Adventure! <laughs> yes, it's a call to adventure, literally. All right. Uh, second to last question. What would you like remembered about you, Eloin? I'd like to be remembered as someone who protected those she's loyal to and someone who loved to have a good, fun time around the campfire. All right. And last question. What is one message you would give to your fans? Always be cool and care for your forests. Well, you heard it here. Join Eloin Ember on her adventure in the Fire Breathing Kittens. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.